Uh, Joe, Morning Joe conversation kind of continued a few blocks away in New York with you and Rev yesterday. I'll tell you why, Rev. Uh, you 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 had quite an event there yesterday, and uh, you, of course, always always the convener and and the star of the show. But uh, but Mika Brzezinski uh, was uh, was was given an award. It was very moving. The entire the whole entire thing was so moving. No, uh, Mika was awarded by the women of National Action Network, and uh, it was very moving. Hundreds of women thanking her for raising on a global level their value. And uh, she was moved. I think she underestimated the kind of emotion they had. Yeah. And then I think uh, uh, you underestimated your impact among this kind of community. We had a couple of thousand people in the room and had a fireside chat and right. talked about how our uh, relationship evolved. And uh, the way people cheered, I mean, I, I thought you were running for president or something. No, I mean, no. I, I've had presidents. In fact, the president's going to do a viral speech uh, this afternoon at our conference. And I've had presidents there. They didn't get a, a better reception than you got yesterday. People need to really look online and see how they treated Joe Scarborough. I was a little jealous, uh, to be honest. I was not jealous at all. Not jealous at all. It was... You know, what, what, what I've heard about National Action Network through the years, and I tell you, uh, Phil has told me about it for, for some time, how, how closely he's worked with it, is that you're always there. The organization's always there for the people who need it the most. I, I mean, I don't, most people don't know that but when you get off of this show, uh, you know, you get on the phones and you're calling around and asking people what they need uh, for help how you can help a, an individual who's in trouble right now. Of course, these things that, that, that get on national news, uh, these tragedies uh, of young black men usually, but, but uh, sometimes young white men, sometimes young Hispanic men, people see that, but they don't see everything that goes on day in and day out. You helping people with their rent, you, you just, again, helping when, when, when people need something. Well, you, you can't, in my opinion, use victims as props. Uh, they are victims, but once the cameras are gone, you need to still be there. That's why we built an organization, not just me out there, and we've been able to do that. But also, as history, Joy Reid was there with her book on Med Gevers later yesterday afternoon, and she was received well. Med Gevers' assassination was what helped galvanize the March on Washington in 1963. Right. And I can go on and on and show where these tragedies become the turning point for changing social policy, if you uh, use it right. So my feeling is you must protect the families, the victims, but you also must change the policies and the laws so you don't continue to have these right. victims. You must do both. You can't just drop them and just go for whatever else you see as the next item. Make, make, yeah, exactly. I, I tur turn that tragedy into, into promise. And, of course, again, the President of the United States is going to be speaking to the National Action Network today. Uh hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.